Yo, what's good everyone? This is AEO Boxing from Adiba, and we're here to talk about if Jerome Boots Ennis got exposed. And yes, Boots did get exposed to a certain degree, but I still think that Boots beats everybody except for Terrence Crawford. Let me explain. The current narrative is that Boots struggled with a nobody or a bum, but that is false. Despite being relatively unknown, Karen is a good boxer and will give any of the champions at welterweight and 154 problems. If it's not Loma, Usyk, Bavol, or better BF, fans will always underrate and overlook Eastern European boxers, calling them nobodies and bums until they fight somebody. It happened with Israel Madrimov when he gave Crawford a competitive fight. It happened with Sergei Boachuk when he dropped Virgil Ortiz twice in their fight. And it happened with Bakram Murtazaliev when he destroyed Tim Zhu. So the fans need to acknowledge that Karen is a skilled fighter. And the reason why we should consider him a skilled fighter is because he made the right adjustments in the rematch. Both Karen and Boots got criticized for the performances in their first fight. Karen ran while Boots couldn't cut off the ring. Most people believe that Boots would make the right adjustments to beat Karen more decisively in the rematch, but Karen was the one who made the better adjustments because he gave Boots a harder fight this time in all aspects. So once again, we need to recognize that Karen is a good fighter to understand why and how Boots got exposed. This fight exposed that Boots is impatient and that guys with good footwork will give him problems. The reason why Boots got hit a lot in this fight, especially with punches he shouldn't have, is because he started pressing too early. Rather than boxing, Boots was already trying to walk down Karen in the first round. This is something that the fans have been criticizing Boots for since the Via fight but I overlooked this criticism because if you fight aggressively, you are more likely to get hit compared to fighting defensively. Furthermore, Boots was knocking out his opponents while still displaying good defense and having a good chin. But Boots' last two opponents, Via and Avenesian, are flat-footed, aggressive, come-forward type of guys. Those styles favor a boxer-puncher like Boots, so starting aggressive wasn't an issue in those fights. However, Karen is a pure boxer. He prefers to box and move, his footwork allows him to get in and out of range and use angles for offense and defensive purposes. Furthermore, he knows how to clench and smother his opponents, slowing down the pace and their opponent's momentum. Because of those things, pure boxers can neutralize aggressive fighters, and that's what happened this past Saturday. Like in the first fight, it was very clear that Boots wanted to knock out Karen. So he started off aggressive, but like in the first fight, Karen's footwork kept Boots at bay and kept them from closing the distance effectively. Karen's footwork provided him opportunities to counter and pick his spots to attack. Just like in the first fight, the left hook was effective, but since he stood his ground more in the rematch, the left hook was more consistent in landing. And just like in the first fight, Boots was still winning the majority of the rounds, but he wasn't getting the desired results and had trouble dealing with Karen's footwork, causing him to get frustrated. And since this fight was in Philly, his frustration was more evident. It's hard to please Philadelphia sports fans. I saw this in person at the fight. Fans were annoyed at Boots and left prematurely because he didn't stop Karen. I didn't watch the broadcast, but apparently Boise was yelling at Boots to stop Karen without giving him proper instructions on how to do so. This led to frustration, which led to impatience, causing Boots to rush his work and be more predictable. Karen took advantage of this in the second half of the fight by clinching to stop any momentum that Boots gained and then fighting inside the clinch. Despite winning, hurting Karen several times, and dropping him in the fifth round, this was undoubtedly Boots' toughest fight and worst performance to date. This fight showed me that Boots needs to change his style if he wants to continue having success at the highest levels. Instead of being aggressive and looking to fight all the time, Boots needs to start boxing his opponents and utilizing his jab more. He clearly has the ability to do so and has done so in the past, so he needs to get back to it, but most importantly, he needs to stay disciplined. Taking unnecessary shots is not good, especially when fighting other top tier opponents and going up in weight. Based on that performance, Crawford would beat Boots at this current moment. He has the footwork to neutralize Boots, but also the discipline to frustrate him. If he were to land the same punches that Karen did, then Boots would probably go to sleep. Israel Madrimov could also beat Boots based on what I saw. But guys like Brian Norman Jr., Ryan Garcia, Virgil Ortiz, Tim Zhu, and etc. would still lose to Boots. 
People are saying that Ryan could land the same left hook and stop Boots, but Ryan does not have the same footwork like Karen to land that left hook. And with that being said, I think the best course of action for Boots is to move up to 154. Apparently Eddie Hearn and Oscar De La Hoya are negotiations for a match room versus Golden Boy 5 versus 5 with Boots and Ortiz being the headline. With this recent performance, the other champions at welterweight may be more willing to fight Boots now, but all of them turned out offers to fight Boots prior to this fight, especially Brian Norman Jr. If he wasn't being greedy about the money that he was getting, he would have fought Boots on this date, but he turned down the money, ended up getting hurt, and couldn't even fight the rest of this year, so that's on him. So I don't think he has the room to even criticize Boots for his performance. But who knows, this is boxing, anything can happen. But thank you for tuning in with AEO Boxing with Madiba. Hit like, subscribe, and more content is coming your way.